Gamecocks fan, and <laughs> I'm a Gamecocks fan, and it, it's it's a uh, you know I try not I try to I try not to be biased, you know I try to call it like like it is for real, and and, and take the take the good with the bad, but. I'm not. I'm not switching up on my team, but I need for everybody to understand that it's some disrespect going on in women's college hoops right now. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's some disrespect going on, and uh, what I'm referring to is this disrespectful 13 mm-hmm. that y'all got the the, the defending champs ranked. And I, mm-hmm. I, I, everybody's gonna jump in the comments and say they played a they played a a, a, a cupcake schedule. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of cupcake schedules out, out there. It's a lot of Duncan Hines and Betty Crockers out there. Uh, if we if we pull them up, okay, everybody, mm-hmm. everybody got a got a Christian school or two on a on a on a on a on a uh, schedule. And uh, mm-hmm. everybody, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of us had a HBCU that didn't have a chance, but you know, we wanted to show some love anyway. Um, so it's 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 a lot of it's some it's some, and if you didn't have a cupcake schedule, you might have had a couple cookies on there though. That's all I'm saying. Everybody. <laughs> You know, everybody. I, I haven't seen anybody that's just like, "Ooh, every week it's just back to back tough games, tough games, tough games." I haven't seen that. Now it's been some great matchups, and it's mm-hmm. been some, you know, some some 60, 70 strength of schedules. I think, uh, but but not a lot of you know back to back tough schedules. And hopefully, as we 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 continue to get these freshmen going and rolling, we're gonna see some some real clashes. <coughs> <coughs> uh, excuse me. Put up on these schedules. I don't want to see no, no. You know, I don't want to see any of this uh, funny stuff like we got going on in boxing. Like, let's 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 see the battles that we want to see. But some disrespect at, at, at the uh, at the defending champs, and and I don't typically do a lot of talking about LSU uh, in a supportive stand from a supportive standpoint. But let, let, let's just be clear, okay? They, they're twenty one and four. Mm-hmm. They're second in the SEC, which is mm-hmm. f- for me one of the toughest conferences out there. Um, mm-hmm. If 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 not, if, if if y'all disagree, please tell me some conferences that you think are tougher than them. Because you know I got SEC and then that Pac-12, and then we could you know we could talk about it from there. You know some Big Ten teams, some 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 AC some you know ACC teams. But you know I digress. Uh, but so we got Angel Reese leading the team, a walking double double with 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 twenty is thirteen. 20 and 13 is what I'm gonna say. You got Haley Van Lith uh leading the team with four assists. You got Morrow chipping in with, with three steals and, and surprisingly uh at the guard at the guard position, one block. And we know we know Angel. Angel's averaging 19 and a half, like I said. So 2013, three assists, shooting, shooting 51 from the floor. Uh mm-hmm. six three junior out of Baltimore. We got five seven senior out of Wenatchee, I'm probably saying it wrong. Washington, Haley Van Lith, she's she's giving you 12, she's giving you two, she's giving you four, she's shooting 40 from the floor. Anissa Morrow, six six one junior out of Chi Town, uh, giving you 17, 10, two is shooting 48 from the floor. Mm-hmm. Now, the LSU women are coming off a win against Alabama. That was a tough, it was a tough battle for them, and people may say. Okay, LSU had some trouble with some teams that they shouldn't have had trouble with. And, and my pushback on that is going to be everybody, to me, if everybody would agree that the LSU team that we're seeing right now isn't the LSU team that Kim Morrow planned, um, Kim Morrow, Kim Mulkey planned on putting on the floor at, at the beginning of the season. If we can agree that those those two teams look very different. Mm-hmm. Okay, at, at the beginning of the season, I don't think that Mulkey – she definitely didn't see the, the injury coming. And I don't think she saw the exit of the pool. So she mm-hmm. saw some she saw a different type of support, a different type of, 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 of bench, and a different different type of depth that she would have to be able to to make her, her run at defending this and coaching to defend this championship. And so while she's not she's not up for uh anything like a coach of the year for me, um masterful job that she's done for them to be at uh, t- 21, what did I say? 21 and four, and 21 and four, 21 and four, uh, with, mm-hmm. with, you know, playing six and a maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay. Playing mm-hmm. six and a maybe. And let, you know, let's be real about that. They're playing six and a maybe. And I, I laugh. I, I made a joke about being up 45 and, 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 and going in the portal if, if I couldn't play. And I meant that, but <laughs> six, you know, hear me out six, you know, six and a maybe 
is is what they going into into every game with. And then you know they seeing who who is the maybe. You know, it could be Del Rosario. It could be, you know, who is the maybe that's going to show up? So I want to give a lot of credit there for them just even being 21-4. and four. And then we had the 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 dismissal of Poole. We had, the, the, we had uh, you know, Angel was going like, you know, Carmen San Diego. Uh, you know, <laughs> so a lot of stuff went on. But every game, every game, this young lady uh, shows up and, and tries to lead her team to victory. Now, mm-hmm. Uh, they they were down at the half against Alabama. Angel Angel almost dropped thirty. She put in twenty seven and nineteen. Mm-hmm. Twenty seven and nineteen, and then Flage added sixteen. And they 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 had a thirty and nine, thirty to nine run in the third that just that, that, that put the game out of reach. Mm-hmm. Uh, Morrow, she she had a double double, fifteen and sixteen. You know these are you know these are thirteen and ten. Um, are, are are the are the double doubles that she had over the last two games against uh, Vanderbilt and I believe uh, Alabama? Correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, y'all. I don't mean no harm, mm-hmm. but they continue to showcase the, an, an attack. They continue to beat teams with, like I said, the six and the possible. Uh, I just don't understand the thirteenth ranking. You can't tell me that there are twelve teams better than LSU in the. It, it, in women's college basketball today, you can't tell me that. Mm-hmm. Um, not if we're looking at uh, overall overall talent, and I'm looking at again everything that they've been through to get to where they are right now, and to be 21 and four, I think is a big deal, and 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 13 is disrespectful. So, is. But, 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 but let me hear your opinion on that, coach. Uh, first of all, great great uh, intro on that. It's disrespectful, and you said something in one of our earlier shows. You said that I think that they're not taking into account that as a defending champs, you're going to get everybody's best game. I challenge everybody to look at the losses that they've had, with the exception of Coach, some, uh, uh, yeah. If they showed up in the church league, the church league would try to kill them. Yes, <laughs> right, right. You understand me? Right. The, the, the defending champs. They showed exactly. up in the church league. The church league would be playing. You'd be like. Oh. We ain't seen exactly. the church league play like this. So, you know, come on with it. Great point. The only the only loss that I would say as far as like uh, was the loss to South Carolina. South Carolina is a superior team. That was a legitimate – Not well, let me say all of them were legitimate losses, but you get what I'm saying. I challenge you to look at the losses they had to other teams, and those teams had players that had what we call out-of-body experiences and scored highs in areas that they've never scored for the rest of the season because they were playing the defending champs. I'll add this. I'll say what nobody else wants to say. I think that LSU, they are the villains in the public eye. They are the villains from their head coach down to Angel Reese because of the NIL or whatever the case may be, being bigger than the team. Like you said, pulling a car in San Diego, not being around. Those outside distractions you cannot tell me are not playing a role in the overall depiction of what LS, the LSU team is. I do believe that a lot of their struggles and talent are being ignored. They're looking at um, different factors that have nothing to do with basketball. I think there's a lot of attention on uh, Van Leith. Uh, you know, I've been very candid on my position on that, but I still have to respect that this young lady is coming out and, and fighting hard every game to help her team win. Do I like the way they're doing it? No. But well, Coach, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, 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 Coach. Wait, wait. Because Haley, let's let, you know, HVL. Let me see. I mm-hmm. want to say this about Haley. And mm-hmm. and and, and, I, and I, y'all jump in the chat and correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm willing to go back and, and look at these games. But LSU, to me, could could, could very easily be 24-1. Uh, and one. Yep. Um, and and I I would say that it's a possibility that the three losses those those other three losses outside of the South Carolina loss, uh, are, could 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 very well be due to depth and the injury, but also to the, the HVL experience at, at, at point guard. And exactly. so now that and so now that we put her in a in a more comfortable position, mm-hmm. um, you know, to have those games back, I don't know, you know, I I don't know what the outcome would look like, but I'm all I'm almost I'm almost positive that the HVL experience experiment 
a point guard uh, definitely had an effect on, on the outcome of those of, of those three losses, a, a, as well as the South Carolina loss. You know, it, 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 that, that could have played out different without her at, at point guard. But I, I just I, I wanted to throw that out there. Right. No. And, and I'll say this. Um, I think that um, when it comes down to the losses that they've had, I agree. But look at those 11 team, 12 teams, rather, <clears throat> with the exception of South Carolina, who's undefeated. Look who they lost to. There's quite a few of those teams that have multiple losses to teams that are not ranked. Um, so as you mentioned, to be the defending champs, there's not a lot of respect there. That's why I cannot wait until the SEC tournament. Now, another interesting thing that I was looking at um, this week, um, I know we're going to get into this later on this evening, but they're projected to be from a three even down to a six seed in the tournament. Which is yeah, very I'm, I'm gonna interesting be interesting to me. I'm gonna be real surprised if they're not picked in this initial sixteen. Very they're not, they're not, interesting. Uh, if they're not, if they're not, uh, if they're not mentioned.